So we're here at Dublin Castle. It seems like the two referendums that the government proposed on care and the family have been resoundingly defeated. I'm wondering, what's your initial reaction? Yeah, it's a great victory for common sense. And I think it's also um, clearly a rejection by the Irish people of you know, the political elites, um, NGOs, like the National Women's Council, who are funded by public monies and who really pushed the government to run this referendum. It's also a rejection of a campaign of misinformation by the government who would not engage with the um, you know, reasonable uh, concerns of the no side. Um, and it's also a rejection of a government that seems more concerned with social media plaudits than actually getting on with the business of governing the country. But in addition to that, it's a very positive statement um, and it's an expression by the Irish people of gratitude and of love. Um, gratitude to women for the work that they do in their homes that's often unseen and unsung. Gratitude to mothers for the unique and irreplaceable role that they play in their children's lives and in the lives of their families and um, a recognition of the special place that marriage has in our constitution and that they want to retain there. Um, so, and you know, on coming up to Mother's Day tomorrow, it's just the best Mother's Day present ever. Uh, I'm wondering, you mentioned the National Women's Council earlier and uh, obviously as you say they're in receipt of state funding and it's claimed by themselves and by government supporters of that organisation that they are representative of women and women's causes and yet I put it to Minister Roger O'Gorman today that it seems as though the women of Ireland have soundly rejected a campaign that they fully backed and he said that he didn't think that was reflective of any kind of wider repudiation of them as an organization. Uh, he said effectively that, uh, you know, this is just two issues and that people have rejected those issues, but that it's not a rejection of them more broadly and as an organization. As a woman, as, as a mother who's campaigned on this, I'm wondering what's, what's your reaction to that? Well, look, it's very obvious the women of Ireland have rejected this proposal. The National Women's Council is completely out of touch and does not represent the majority of women. It certainly doesn't represent uh, mothers in the home and never has, has done absolutely nothing to further the cause for women and who want to spend time with their babies and their children in their homes. You know, those years fly by so quickly. It's such a short time. And for women who want to do that and who get very little recognition, if none, um, the National Women's Council have done nothing for them. But this is, uh, the people have really sent a message to the government and to NGOs like the National Women's Council that they're out of touch. Uh, Sinn Féin has doubled down on their proposal to rerun the referendum if they get into power, except with modified wording. They say they, of course, wouldn't put this exact uh, question to the people again because an answer has already been received there but that they might go with stronger wording perhaps the citizens assembly wording for example I'm wondering do, do you have any thoughts on that if that that idea from the opposition party well, I think it would be foolish after hearing the result today the Irish people have rejected it there was a very broad coalition which was interesting this in this referendum there was a broad co coalition of people individuals and groups that came out against this and the people have agreed with the no campaign uh, and in truth you know i, I have to um, pay tribute to the plucky underdogs um Aintu were the only party, in fairness to them, that swam against the political tide. Uh, there were deputies, um, Pader Tobin and Michael McNamara, and of course, Senators Tom Clonan and Michael McDool, who led this campaign. Uh, but, you know, considering the, um, the might of the government and the whole establishment that they were up against, uh, this is a, a fantastic victory for them personally, uh, but also for the Irish people. You know, the world is looking at Ireland. Like the Ireland, Ireland has become a poster child for, you know, a whole slew of hard left policies and laws and, and that are completely disconnected to what people really want and what they care about in life. What people care about, this shows very clearly, is family, is motherhood, is mothering as a concept worth enshrining and protecting in law. This was an attempt to break the link in law between marriage and family. It was an attempt to annihilate the whole concept of motherhood. And the people have said no. 
and I think it really shows a disconnect between uh, the government, the parties of government, and uh, apart from AIM2, and uh, the NGO industrial complex, which essentially just serves the interests of, of the elites in power. Uh, I was speaking to Minister Roger Gorman earlier and he, I asked him if he thought that this proved that the National Women's Council of Ireland was not representative of the views and the sentiments of women in Ireland more broadly and he said that that wasn't the case and that these are just two proposals but that in the round they are more or less representative of uh, women's views. I'm wondering if you have a response to that? I'm afraid I'd have to disagree with that. I mean, this is just the latest battle in an ongoing um, war, really, for our words, for our rights, for our protections in law. And, you know, Minister Gorman is clearly, and, and his department, and in fact, so much of government is ideologically captured by this ideology, which is really at the heart of this, you know. Like the government assumed that people would be just carried away with these vapid slogans about inclusivity and equality. But, you know, it was such an insult to the Irish people just to not even offer the argument if you're going to change the status quo. And I think what what they realised was that it was just being used as a smokescreen to strip constitutional rights from mothers and from women.